Good day, engineers. Today, we will be discussing about the Mohr circle. So, this will be for the course Foundation Engineering. Let's start. Before we can construct a Mohr circle, syempre, yung mga plot or yung mga ipaplot natin sa Mohr circle is manggagaling dito sa element na nakikita natin. So, yung element na yan is merong combination of normal and shear stresses. By the way, in our strength of materials, ginagamit na natin yung uh, more circle for combined stresses. So, syempre, itong element na to is merong shear and may normal stresses. So, on our vertical uh, Vertical planes, may tumatama dyan na normal stress which are itong sigma x na to going to the left then itong sigma x na to which is going to the right. Meron din tayong normal stress on the top and bottom horizontal plane. Yan yung sigma y which is going downward. And, yung sigma y na going upward. So, that four forces is known as normal stresses. Ngayon, meron din tayong shear stresses. Ang shear stresses, yan yung mga stress na parallel sa plane natin. Andyan yung tau xy na to na parallel sa top plane and yung tau xy na to na parallel sa bottom plane. Then, meron din tayong tau xy dun sa right vertical plane and meron din tayong tau xy on the left vertical plane. So, those are forces in our element that is to be plotted in the Mohr circle. Ngayon, ang goal is to find any value of forces in this element. So, kahit anong gawin nating angle na theta on this element, is pwede nating mahanap yung force through the Mohr circle. So, syempre, pag nagkaroon ng angle theta dyan, which is, uh, which is shown, and it is counterclockwise from the horizontal, so, Merong certain equivalent stress na mag act It's either in compression or in tension for the normal stress. And it's either a clockwise or counterclockwise stress or shear stress. So, yun ngayon yung goal. Kaya natin ginagawa yung more circle. Para mahanap natin yung stresses on the element at a, at a certain angle. So, to plot a Mohr circle, meron tayong sinusunod na sign convention. So, for the sign conventions of a Mohr circle, we have first, the, for the normal stresses, so, meron tayo dyan yung force kapag towards siya dun sa element or inward, kagaya na tong sigma x na to and sigma y na to, so, ibig sabihin, yan yung tinatawag natin na compression. Kasi kinocompress niya yung element natin. So, a compression force to be plotted on a more circle. So, that will be a positive stress. So, ibig sabihin, pag ipaplot natin siya sa more circle, that should be positive. Then, for the next one, kapag yung force mo, is outward or away from the element, kagaya nito, that is a normal stress in tension. So, kapag ipaplat natin siya on a more circle, a normal stress in tension should be negative. So, sinusunod lang natin, since we are on the part of foundation engineering, Sinusunod natin yung compression kasi soil is 
Uh, highly compressible. So, bira siya in tension. Kaya ginagawa natin, positive si compression, negative si tension. Para naman dun sa mga shear stresses natin. As you can see, those shear stress in the left and the right vertical plane will form a couple. So, kapag nag-form sila ng couple, meron silang certain moment arm, let's say X. So, ibig sabihin, it will cause a rotation on the hour element. So, kapag nag-rotate siya, titignan natin ano yung uh, direction ng rotation niya. And for this case, the forces or the shear stresses on the left and the right vertical plane is rotating counterclockwise. So, to plot this one in a more circle, since counterclockwise yan, so that will be a positive shear stress. Since that is a counterclockwise. Then, kapag inanalyze din natin sila as an individual stress. So, let's say, i-analyze natin yung nasa right side. So, as you can see, kapag inanalyze natin yung nasa right side, maglagay tayo ng point inside the, uh, inside our element. Then, magkakaroon yan ng moment arm, which is, let's say, X. So, kapag nilagyan natin yan ng moment arm, it will still cost a counterclockwise rotation. So, pag yung left side naman na force, yung inanalyze natin or stress, it will also give you a counterclockwise rotation. So, that is the case na positive yung stress natin since the rotation inside the element is counterclockwise. Now, what if this is the case? So, for example naman, we have the bottom and the top plane shear stresses. So, as you can see, ito siya at itong nasa ilalim. So, kapag nilagyan din natin yan ng moment arm in between them, since that is a couple force, we can say na that is rotating clockwise or it will cause a rotation of clockwise dun sa element natin. So, that clockwise rotation will be a negative shear stress for our more circle. So, pag inanalyze ulit din natin individually yung forces at naglagay tayo ng reference point inside our element. So, pag kinuha natin yung shear stress on the top plane, it will also cause a clockwise rotation. Pag naman kinuha natin yung nasa bottom element or yung nasa bottom plane ng element, it will also cause a clockwise rotation. So, ibig sabihin, kapag naglalagay tayo ng reference point, that should be inside the element. Yun yung kailangan nating consider for the sign conventions of the shear stresses. So, that will be for the sign conventions of our Morse circle. So, that will be the first part of our introductory concept on the Morse circle. So, this is Engineer Rodolfo and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.